It's my day so now I'm trying to do a little ramble video. It's um, almost midnight. And uh, yeah, I decided to talk about some stuff with you guys that I'm planning yeah, on doing and also uh, do my first soft spoken video. Somewhat soft spoken. I try to mix up soft spoken with um, whispers <clears throat> because that's what I personally enjoy the most. Yeah. I hope you guys are doing good and um, hope you're all right. And uh, yeah, I just love showing. So today I want to talk about uh, my recent vacation when we went to Italy. I went with my family and um, we were there for like eight or nine days. And um, yeah. <clears throat> the house that you saw in the vlog belongs to a friend of our family that we knew from back in the day when I was like three or four years old <clears throat> they always used to go to the same um, uh, yeah camping village as we did because we used to go camping and yeah and we get to know them somehow I don't know as I said I was like two years old and yeah basically it and um, yeah we also drove there by car it took us about um, 11 hours to get there and 8 or 8.5 eight and a half hours to drive home to Germany again it was a small location named Gosparini it's like 2 hours away from Florence it's the best I can describe it because um, all the smaller cities that are around, no one really knows them, you know, because they don't have the Lago and stuff. Um, but Siena is one hour away. If you, Siena is something you guys know. I decided to film with my uh, main camera on my phone today. Um, I hope the quality is a bit better. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, vacation was planned like one year ago and we were quite scared uh, to the point where we actually thought about not going because the weather forecast was pretty bad um, it said like uh, it should actually rain almost the whole week and it's, yeah it would be pretty bad and yeah my dad was freaking out, uh, checking the weather forecast every two hours, so, yeah. Uh, but it changed, like, every few hours, so you, you could never really say how the weather would be, because, um, yeah, at, like, noon, the weather forecast said, yeah, well, it's gonna be way, very uh, sunny or whatever, and in the evening it said, well very uh, cloudy and rainy so you could never actually tell what the weather would be like you know so I actually turned the volume down for this quite a bit um, I hope the talking isn't actually too loud I don't really know but I hope so yeah we it's actually the second time we went to that house. And for you guys out there that don't know what I'm talking about, I uploaded a vlog you can watch um, about the vacation. Yeah, as I said, it's the second time we, we went there. Yeah, the first time we went to Florence. That's why we didn't actually go that time. And 
Lawrence was pretty great, but the, <clears throat> it's just such a such a large city, like very different to, for example, these small little cities um, across. Uh, it's like everywhere there, Casio del Lago or um, Cortona. They are pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, so. Siena, for example, as well, but we haven't actually been to Siena or Assisi or Arezzo. All the small cities are nearby, you know. So, yeah, that's, that's something. So, we're, we're planning on going again uh, um, August. And we're hoping that the weather will be very nice and hot, so we can mainly sunbathe um, at, at, at that vacation, because we're there two weeks. The first week, um, some friends of mine, friends of mine, will go along, I'll go on some city trips, because it's the first time, well, the second time in Italy, but the first time in, yeah, well, let's say the real Italy, because first time we went to uh, Badolino, which is on Lake Garda, in December last year. And yeah, northern Italy is just, it's just very different from the rest of Italy. It's very wealthy, oh, pretty wealthy. And um, the rest of Italy is yeah, pretty poor, to be honest, so it's not really the same. But anyway. Um, so that's what I'm playing right now, or that's what we're playing. And I'm definitely gonna go see Siena, Sissi, maybe a red zone, but I don't know. Mm. And probably Florence again. Rome is also only like two hours away by train, but um, it's such a large city, Rome. I know Florence is technically also a very large city, but Rome is just on another level. And, um, I go on a separate trip to Rome to have like three or four days in Rome to really get to know the city, you know. But uh, all these big cities like Rome, Paris, um, Barcelona, and stuff, they're always overrated, in my opinion. Like, they are these, <coughs> excuse me, they are these like very big um, metropolitan cities which are just overrun by tourists like me and uh, they actually aren't that great as a lot of people uh, yeah expect them to be I, I think but uh, I think you have to see them at least once in your life so I'm gonna do that so yeah then went to uh, an outlet, uh, Oli, Oli Chiano outlet, wasn't anything special, you know, normal outlet, you, you guys know as well from where you are, <coughs> God. but, um, yeah, last year in uh, May, when we went there, um, we went to a luxury outlet, The main thing is, um, it's really just a ramble video at this point, it's like late, I know I don't really 
I don't even know what I'm talking about, but just wanted to maybe give you some more insights on on the vacation and also uh, yeah tell you a bit of my plans for the future for this channel let's say yep um yeah the vacation was very nice as i said and went to eat quite a lot at one restaurant that belonged to a grandmother that is around the channel as you can see in the blog as well. Um, yeah. It's, uh, probably the best lasagna that I ever ate. But yeah. Uh, the vlog's gone quite long. I didn't really plan it to be that long. But I, the vlog could probably, could have probably been like over one and a half hours. But I kind of, one hour and seven minutes. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry for the voiceover, guys. Not the vlog, because the voiceover, I don't even know what happened there. I think it was like very, uh, it was pretty uh, back, you know. I was like here. And I was talking into the mic. And of course, didn't really pick up my voice very good. Especially because, um, yeah, I was whispering. And I was whispering pretty, uh, yeah, pretty silently as well, because it was very late at night and it was quite, uh, yeah, drained from the day. So, yeah, sorry for that. I hope you could still enjoy the vlog, and I'm probably gonna do it again in August. And yeah, I'm gonna do a better job in the voiceover. gotten into um, editing and stuff so yeah, picture editing and video editing and all that good stuff and uh, I'm actually planning on buying a, a camera because as you guys know I'm filming on my phone and I'm planning to buy a camera the Sony uh, ZV E10 Sony ZV E10 which is basically a very good camera but um, yeah oh, for, for the price it's a very good camera I think it's like 700 bucks or something uh, at the moment or 650 and um, yeah for that price it's very very good and it's actually Sigma lens. I don't know if you guys know any, uh, anything about lenses, um, uh, but uh, I don't. I I don't really know anything about them. Well, I knew, didn't really need to know anything about them um, until like a week ago when I started watching YouTube videos and stuff to to actually find out lens will be good for a YouTube video and what kind of lens will be good for photography was good because I want to uh, get into photography for those who are interested in that yeah um, so the, for, for video making the Sigma uh, I think 1.6 oh no 16 millimeters 1.4 lens is perfect I think it's like three, 350 bucks you can see these lenses are pretty expensive and like uh, uh, Sony lenses mostly cost 500 bucks and up you know it's crazy lenses are more expensive than your camera um, because as a, as, a, as a beginner I always thought to just to only get lenses you know uh, you to only get to record and yeah just as on the on the, like uh, your cell phone you know but um it's not how that works unfortunately you have to do a lot more you have to have um send disk um storage cards which aren't 
actually dirt cheap. Uh, you have to have um, basically a lot of stuff like uh, a case for you for your camera, obviously something where you can bring your lenses with you, depending on um, if you use it as a vlogging camera. Or Um, and I've watched some footage of it on YouTube that you can, if you guys are interested in that, you can like Google Sony ZV E10. Um, yeah, uh, it's for, for a perfect camera for if you're on a budget for video making. Not the greatest for photograph, uh, but for video making, it's very, very good in the price range. So, I decided to get that one sometimes in the future. I, I don't really know when. Um, but yeah, well, I guess the problem is the camera, you know, is actually not that expensive. It's like 650 and it's alright for a good camera, you know. Yeah, I'm willing to spend that, but the problem like is at the moment you won't do anything with the camera. You need so many. standing thing for your camera where it stands on where you can bring it along especially when I go on vacation in August you have to bring it along um, and all that and yeah <coughs> you actually um, as I said you need some disk storage cards you need uh, cases you need cases for the storage card and you need a case where you can put the case for the storage card in yeah um, extra batteries, um, yeah, all that, all that good stuff, because I want to get into, uh, photos, uh, photography, uh, photography editing, um, yeah, not really as a, as a income thing, but, uh, just like YouTube as a little hobby, I try to do on the side, you know, I want to do mostly landscape and street photography because that's what I think is pretty cool and uh, yeah the intriguing part for me is that there are actually people out there who tell stories with their pictures and that's why you really your main goal should be to, to get the perfect picture person is on there or multiple persons and you tell a story with yeah one picture or like three pictures in a in a college or something mm, but uh, that's actually not that easy because you have to be you have to have a great imagination and you have to have these stories in mind and uh, basically Form, which can be quite intimidating um, for obvious reasons because it's not that, that easy to capture emotions and, and storytelling in one picture or in three pictures or whatever. So yeah, that's um, yeah, that's what I'm planning at the moment. Um, I'm using Canva to to edit some stuff moment and also like uh, uh, CapCut and iMovie and stuff so all these like free programs that you just happen to have mm, yeah. um, although CapCut and Canva are only usable to an extent and they have like pro versions of it for you to pay for but yeah it's uh, alright for me I actually used CapCut because uh, InShot, I don't know if you know InShot, but it's another editing app. They always, if you do anything in InShot, they always put the logo on the left, right, uh, on the left bottom corner, I think, of your video, and it's pretty big. So, like, an age of your video is basically uh, blocked by the 
there for like two hours to do so on the vlog again in August and I'm gonna bring you guys along hopefully with the new camera by then um and uh, I'm that I actually got into editing and yeah I'm quite out of uh yeah let's say uh, I have to get into the ASMR video grind again because I'm pretty much out of it. Um, yeah, uh, it's hard to get back in there if you have been gone like me for like I, th I think almost three months. Um, yeah, but I'm happy to be back and um, yeah, I had some stuff going on and I. Uh, I'm gonna go study in October, um, like, besides my normal work, you know, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys notice, I don't know if you ever told, if I, if I ever told you, but I work in HR, and I want to specialize myself uh, in this field for basically HR uh, recruiting and stuff so I actually like that mm, yeah so those are my plans and um, I had some complications with that lately so that's why I didn't actually well it's one reason why I didn't do any videos the other reason is that I kind of yeah I kind of ran out of ideas and sometimes I uh, just like film videos to film videos you know and uh yeah i didn't really like that because i i'm doing this for fun like it's a, a hobby and uh yeah it should just stay a hobby and not like be a responsibility where i'm, I'm like oh yeah all right all right i'm gonna i'll have to make a video now It's gotten to the point, uh, so I stopped for a while, but um, now I'm back, and um, I've got some videos planned that I'm gonna do, and uh, yep. for the time being, I will be there, I will bring out a few videos, I don't know in what like range, uh, if, I, if I'm gonna be able to post a video weekly, or like one video or something like that but I will put out videos even if it's like only one video per two weeks or something like that I still put some out uh, because I actually like doing it um, if I don't like overdo it you know what I mean I think everyone like kind of gets my point here and um, yeah that's uh I think that's about it, what I wanted to tell you today, guys. But one question. Do you guys like my uh, Von Dutch cap? Because I don't know. I can't really decide if it's cool or not. That's like these brown details here and on the back. And it's, uh, as you can probably see, pink. Or whatever shade of pink or whatever that is, you know, like a million different names, yeah, let me know, Good. yeah, I think that's actually about it, but, um, uh, 
years. Well, <laughs> all right, today is uh, Saturday. I'm going to put, put it out today. Uh, yeah. I have um, my birthday coming up on the 6th of June. Ourselves, or we can see our, us again in, at the 6th June. Yeah. I've been on vacation this week and I have to go to work on Monday again. So, yeah, I've got to Saturday now and tomorrow and the nights so back to work on Monday. My colleague is gonna change departments, so um, I'll have to. work his work as well for like I think two months or almost two months uh, well no one and a half months so that's not gonna be a very nice uh, experience um, yeah not gonna be the best time let's put it like put it like that very pretty stressful at work but Okay.